home. Babe? Sydney? Sid? 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 Ah. Mm. Ah. Hey. You, you didn't call to tell me you were coming back today. Babe, you look so... Oh, it looks so pretty. How was your trip? You know, I didn't see your car in the driveway. You know? Very unlike you not to um, <clears throat> go out with your car. Um, a friend of mine, <clears throat> she came to, she, she said she liked the hair I just got in and she wanted to have it. So she, she came and she came a couple of hours ago and she took me to where I got to Your friend? What friend? Anna. Anna. She's a new friend. I met her at the salon weeks ago. A new friend? Saw your hair, liked it. <coughs> Wanted to have what you have on, right? And so what? She followed you. Huh? Uh -huh. Come on, go ahead. Take a drink. She has it. Go ahead. Okay, so you are with you. Come on, drink up. Drink up. Ah! Oh, father! Father! Watch me. Who's here? Sydney. Who is this man? I talk to you, you give me answers. Nobody. Who? You fucking nobody. Her name is Anna. I swear, you can call her. Her number is in my phone. You can call her and ask her. You must really think that I am a moron. That's what. <sighs> Why are you lying to me? Hmm? You lie to me that your friend 
who you just met, by the way, saw you, liked the hair you had on your head, wanted something like that, that you have on you. Is that it? Huh? So I go out there every day at 12. Then I need to make money to make you comfortable, to make you happy. And then you give my money to someone else. You must really think that I am a moron. I'm sitting down here asking you, who are you fucking? And you tell me that it's Anne. What have I done to you? Why do you give my money to a fuck? Give it to anybody. Oh, my God. I kiss you. I think you, mommy. Fuck what? You. You are? You. Sorry, uh, my name is Anna. It was your Malcolm Sydney's boyfriend. Sydney will not stop yapping about you. I'm sorry, it's really nice to meet you. Okay. It's nice to meet you too. Um, so Sydney left this in my car and I just thought to drop it off for her. I see. Okay. Well, right now she's in the shower. Can I take this one? Yeah, sure. Oh, it's really nice to meet you again, Malcolm. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. Um. She's in the shower right now, and I'm thinking you could, you know, just wait for her, make yourself comfortable. She'll be out in a bit. Do you mind? No, 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 no. That's that's. Very nice. You don't I love mind. That. No. Fantastic. That way, please. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. You have a really nice week. Thank you. Get up, get up, get up. Hey. Sit up. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, look at me. I missed you. So much. I miss you. I miss you, baby. I miss you. Where is my son? Where is he? My father's house. Oh, I see. 
Hey, you have a guest downstairs. I brought you this. But you can't see your guest looking like this. You look a mess. Okay, so you have to clean up. Clean up. Hey, girl. Hi. Hey, I hope you don't mind. Malcolm asked me to sit down and feel comfortable. It's fine. Okay. So what were you thinking? You forgot your bag in my car. Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sure it must have been a lot of stress bringing it back here. I'm sorry for the inconveniency. <laughs> Sydney, we're friends. It wasn't an inconvenience. It's fine. However, when you stop inconveniencing me, we'll stop being friends. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm is such a gem of a person. Like, he's so cool. Yeah, he is. Huh. With all the money splashing on you. Girl, you need to tell us the kind of prayer you pray to get this type of man. No? Mm. <laughs> oh, God. Sydney, you're lucky. <sighs> Sydney, you're so lucky. I'm telling you. You're really lucky. Mm. So, how are you? Come in. Good afternoon, Mom. <laughs> you didn't miss me? I missed you too. I'm here to take you home. All right, I grab your bag. I thought you'd be spending the weekend. His father is back. I... You see what, Mom? The glasses. Take it off. I want to see how bad it is. How bad is what? Malcolm is waiting for us. I don't have time for this. All right, hug, hug your grandma and say goodbye. Let's go. Bye, honey. Let's go. Thank you. Your father used to hit me too, remember? So there's no shame in talking about it. Malcolm, wait for me in the car. A liar, mommy. A liar. Daddy never hit you for once. Are you talking? Never to did me? he hit you. Yes. Are you talking you to me? Stop Steve? lying to me. Every time you open your mouth, lies. To lies. lies. Are you talking Please. to me? So you. Are you okay? Leave me alone. 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 Angel, look, she's always insulting daddy. No, no. And daddy wants to teach her how to be no. a good girl. Because daddy loves me. Okay? Because daddy loves me. Daddy. Who are you? Malcolm! 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 Oh, 
Where did you go? You scared me. Sorry. Don't do that again. If I say stand by the car, you stand by the car. All right, let's go. He's not going to see you smoking in the house. Put it out. It's fine. He doesn't. Bobby, put it out. Stay out. Hey! Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> How are you? Fine. I missed you. Huh? Eh? Me too. Look at you, looking all fresh, eh? And a bit chubby too. Grandma's with you. Plenty food, eh? Grandma took me to the zoo. I saw a monkey, a lion, and a zebra. How big was the lion? Very big. Very big? Are you scared? Ah, uh -huh. I'll be scared. Yeah. It's good to be back home. Okay. Uh. Hey, um, make something for, for Bobby. He's hungry. Has to eat something. I'm not Bobby's maid. He should make something for himself. You know what? We're going to talk about the lion and the zebra when I come upstairs, okay? So, go to your room, John. Alright? Listen to me. The next time you insult my cousin in front of my son or anyone at all, Sydney, I am going to kill you. You hear me? I will kill you and I will take your mother's life. Don't ever. Try it again. Am I clear? Yes. Good. Make him something to eat. He's hungry. Do it now. Sydney, what is eating you up? I was just thinking about my mother. She doesn't approve my relationship with Malcolm. She thinks I can do better. What? Why would she think that? Malcolm is every woman's dream. He has his flaws. What man doesn't? Look, my ex-boyfriend was a real jerk. Like, he would steal from me, then beat me up every time I confront him. I was with the bastard for two years. Finally, I had the guts to break up with him last year. You were with somebody like that for two years? Well, I thought I could fix him, but apparently it's not fixable. Look, Evan has a way of sending me broken men. Broken pockets, broken life, broken everything. Trust me when I tell you that you're a very, very lucky girl. Just ignore your mom and enjoy what you have. Well, Malcolm has some really nice friends. As a matter of fact, one of them is having a grand opening of his nightclub on Sunday. You should absolutely be there. No, on Sunday. Um, yeah. Okay, so I have to be at my parents, but I could come afterwards, right? Okay. <laughs> then it's a day. <laughs> you know, Malcolm really likes you. Wait, did you say anything? Oh, oh no, no. But, but I know my man very well, to know when he approves of my relationship with somebody. A woman that knows a man. I have to renew my stanship. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that's good.
some nerve sending me that note. What are you doing here? I heard a brand new club was opening tonight. Anybody who is anybody who knows somebody or who is a relative or friends to anybody was going to be here. Mm. You know, Missy, I hate missing out on opportunities to have fun. Mm. As always, you look gorgeous. Remember when you used to look this good just for me? I don't. Honestly, I don't. You're not important enough to dedicate to memory, Daniel. And for someone who works with the ECC, honestly, you sound very stupid. The ECC has been watching Malcolm like a hawk since the arrest of his friend Ario. Ario was arrested for his involvement in internet fraud. And he has guaranteed some useful information to the agency. Although none of those information has been proven yet in court. But pretty soon, there will be enough proof to nail Malcolm and his accomplices. And you are telling me this because... He has two properties in your name. His oh. three businesses are also in your name. Let me say more, see? I guess so, exactly. Now give us useful information about Malcolm and his illicit businesses. And I promise you, the agency will give you and your son full protection. The properties and the businesses will remain yours. And they sent a man-child to tell me this. Tell the ECC that I'm very disappointed. Malcolm, you hurt yourself. Hi, Uncle Bobby. Hey, Malcolm J. How you doing? Fine. You're going to school, right? Yes. Make sure you'd be a good boy. Okay. Mr. Williams, all I'm begging is that you should give me some time, please. Mr. Williams, you know I've not been late with my rent. Please, give me some more time. Business is very slow, please. I beg you. Okay, Mr. Williams, thank you. I appreciate it. Sydney, we have to leave here immediately but now. why? Sweetheart, I, I will explain everything later, but for now, we have to leave here, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, you can go to anywhere you want to. You can go to Panya, I don't care, but you're going nowhere with my daughter. Sweetheart, come. Come, okay? <laughs> you, you, you. you.
Hey. Welcome on to give you this. He asked you to wear this evening. What's the occasion? Hello, sir. There's no new evidence yet. Yeah, Agent Pat and I are working very hard towards that. I know there's no time, but very soon. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, bye. Yeah, hello. Yes, uh, the boss just called me. We need to meet ASAP. Yeah, meet me up at the usual spot. I'll be there in half an hour. All right. Where's Malcolm? Waiting for you. Are you going to enter the car? You know how much he hates to wait. you with this list. Why? I'm just following orders. Please. Okay. So I have to be doing this. Okay. Hey, I'm just following orders, okay? Sydney, I have known you for a long time now. And for as long as I have known you, I have loved you. With all of my life. I've looked into my future and I cannot see myself in it without you. And I'm asking that. Will you marry me? I don't know what to say. Yes, we yes. can start. Say yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
anything of it. As you can see, he's sleeping. But he has school tomorrow. I can take him to school. I know, his father won't like the idea. Besides, he's outside in the car waiting. Why didn't you tell me your rent was due? It's none of your business. Hey, Ma. Wake up. We have to go home. It's okay. All right. But don't worry, don't worry. I got this. Thank you for taking care of Malcolm. Are you going to marry him? It's not your business. Let's go. Sydney. Making the same mistake your mother made. You're sure your mother's dead. Making the same mistake your mother made. To show your mother's daughter. Officers, this is the woman beater. Arrest him! Good. Oga, your presence is needed in our station. For what? What do you mean? He said you are needed at the station. And you are asking what for? Please, who are you? Officers, I know my rights. Even if I'm to follow you to the station, at least someone should explain to me why my presence is required. Okay, good. You have been accused of domestic violence. <laughs> this is outrageous. This is sheer ridiculousness. Me. Look, officer, I'm a domestic violence activist. I have never hit any woman in my life. You're a liar, Charles. A liar from the pits of hell. You see? Officer, look, look at her. This is how she insults me. Throw things at me. And yet, I still don't touch her. Then how else did I get these bruises on my face? Look, 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 officer, look at her. She's clearly a psychopath. Look, look at her. She's psycho. Anytime I threaten to leave the house, she breaks stuff. Throws things at me. Injure herself. Just to dent my image. Look, officer. Okay, in honesty, you can ask my daughter. She can confirm for this. Charles, why are you lying in front of your child? Mimi, come. Tell these good officers how daddy used to beat me. Tell them. He doesn't beat her. You see? Hey. 
What's with the grin now? Are you smiling ear to ear? What? What is it? Uh, so I used to think that it's okay. And Dennis's engagement will be the cutest thing I'd ever seen. Mm. But you, you outdid Dennis tonight. That is because you deserve the best, baby. I love you. I love you right back. Mm? <laughs> what? I can't believe we're engaged. Right. I can't believe you surprised me tonight. You invited everybody, even Anna. And she didn't even tell me. I can't believe that. Yeah. I like her. Hmm. Yeah, I do. I can tell. You have developed a little crush on her. What? No, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> the only woman I'm crushing on right now <laughs> would be my daughter. Oh, you're my man. I love you. I love you. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Your I'm lipstick. My... <laughs> so that all the Lagos girls would know that you're taking. Your lipstick. Mm. Mm. I want to put it on your lips. Mm. Just my lips? Mm hmm. You sure? Tell about, you know, you have your lips right now. I love you. Mm? Mm, nice. You should have seen what happened. Malcolm proposed. <laughs> of course I said yes. <laughs> okay, okay. All right then, I'll talk to you later. Make sure you keep in touch. All right, bye. Congratulations on your engagement. You really have been watching like a hawk. Daniel, what do you want? Have you given my offer a thought? I have limited time. The earlier you cut this deal, the better. Malcolm is an honest businessman, and I have no reason to think otherwise. But if you have a different opinion, look for somebody else and look for the information for you. Or better say you do it yourself. After all, that is what you're paid to do. Good luck, Daniel. Yes, come in. Good day, Mama. Good day. We have a message from the landlord. Okay. Thank you. All right, thank you. Hello, Sid. How are you? Okay, a um, quick one. Um, an agent called me, a property agent called me to say that um, they've seen a very beautiful property in Port Harcourt, the Jaro area, and it's going for a very good price. So I'd like for you and Bobby to go there this weekend and sign all necessary documents. Isn't PH too far? Sid, it's an investment. Right. Besides, we don't have to live there. No place is too far to make an investment as long as people live there. We're talking real estate. I have something to do this weekend. I don't care what it is that you have to do this weekend. Be there this weekend with Bobby. Whatever it is that you have to do, can wait. I don't know this agent like I know you. I don't trust him like I trust you. So I need you to stand in for me. Of course, Alaji, of course. Yes, I hear you loud and clear. Thank you very much for the information. Thank you. Um, please, Alaji, I'll ask that you have your boys keep a close tab on him. Of course, of course, I'll call the general right away. Mm. Thank you. Mm. 
General, I greet you, sir. Yes, we are still on track. As a matter of fact, Elijah just called to tell me that Tafida was spotted at the airport this afternoon. Yes, General, we're keeping close tabs on him. Of course, I did not forget. I shall handle this one personally. Okay, General, I'll keep you posted. Why does he have to come with me to Potaka? Why don't you come with me? It's going to be a very busy weekend for me. Sydney, there is something that requires my attention, so I cannot travel. Okay, let me go by myself then. I don't need anybody to babysit me, especially not Bobby. He has an, un an unhappy streak in him. You're not going to put her cut alone. Bobby will go with you. And that is fine. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, Daniel. It's been a very long time. Really long? Hi, welcome. Welcome, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you. Please make yourself comfortable, please. Thank you. Thank you. Is Sydney home? Oh, yes, she is. Um, how was your trip? Fine, thank you. Yeah. Um, would you like for me to get you something? Oh, Sydney. Yeah. Okay. Once. You won't believe who just showed up here. Who? Your mom, Sydney. She doesn't even know this place. Your mom is here. A nice house here. Yeah. I must give it up to Malcolm. He has a great test. I know you did not come all the way to admire my house. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just worried about you. <laughs> Since when did you start worrying about me? Look, mommy, I am fine. I am where I want to be and I'm okay with it. Daniel came to see me. You're already considered an accomplice. I am not an accomplice. I don't know anything about Malcolm's dealings. Well, he got you involved by acquiring properties in your name. Sydney. You have a whole lot of life in front of you. You're still too. 
You can't go to jail for this man. He's bad to the core. He's a lost cause. Bad man. Sydney. Cut up with the ACC and nail this man. You, you saying that I should snitch on the father of my child? Check your email. I have just uh, mailed you the payment slip. Yeah, so confirm and let me know. I want to go. Come on. Thank you. Leave. Leave my house since you're no longer interested in this marriage. Of course I will leave your house. Go! Without my daughter, eh? Charles, you get me. Sydney, <laughs> Sydney is not going anywhere with you. She will stay here with me, and I will take care of her. She's my daughter. You are a joker. You are a joker, Charles. If you think I will leave this house without my daughter, then you don't know me. <laughs> Sydney, she is not going anywhere with you. Hmm? She will stay here with me, and I will take care of her. Oh. Go. You want to go to Kafancha? You are joking. See, see your bag. Come on, get if out of here. If you think I will leave this house without my daughter, then you are joking, Charles. No, me. Child. I will break you into pieces, oh. I will, I, will, I will, don't joke with me. I will break you. Try. Are you okay? Yes. What's eating you up? Nothing. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to ask, um, what did your mother want? Uh, she was in the neighborhood and she thought she should stop by and just say hello. I see. Quite thoughtful of her to do that, you know. Good night. Good night. Hello, General. Yes. Yes, General. I understand that the ECC is watching every move that I make, so I'm quite careful. Aka is on top of it. So I can assure you that it will not be traced to me. I know that you're looking out for me, General. Thank you very much. Good night, sir. I'm sorry, we're fully booked for the weekend. We have a wedding party here tomorrow. But can you check? I mean, every other hotel, they're all fully booked. Just check and see if we can. We are kind of stranded, okay, please. Okay, I'll look again. A guest was supposed to come in tonight, but his flight was cancelled. So we'll be checking in 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. You can have the room for tonight. <sighs> Thank you. That's a relief. <laughs> Afida. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Can you check for maybe another guest cancelled? We need a room for him. 
uma, no, no Avenger. I don't know anything about the general's money. Mr. Gavin wired the money. But my colleagues in Switzerland just fucked us up. It's not on us. That's what happened. Ah, uh, Tafida, if I were you, I'd make this really simple. Why do you want to make this hard now? Come on now, stop it. Hmm? Don't make me kill you. Hello? Hey babe, how are things going on? Fine, but we have a little problem. Um, all the hotels around here are fully booked. We can't seem oh. to find anyone to check into. I suspected, it's weekend. Yeah, but we managed to get one hotel, but they have just one room left. At least you're making progress. So have you checked in? Malcolm, I will not share a room with your cousin. Sydney, what are you going to do? Are you going to go ahead and share that room with Bobby? Or will you pass the night at the reception? Or go around the entire Port Harcourt city to find a hotel that is not booked on a weekend? Which is it going to be? Tafida. I want answers to that question. Morning. You gave up your blanket. Yeah, I didn't want you to end up with a cold. I didn't expect you to care. <laughs> Why? Because you're unfamiliar with kindness? What? I know you don't like me and I really don't care. But you don't have to be a jerk about it. Well, congratulations, Bobby. You just ruined my morning. I see. So what time is your flight tomorrow? 12.30. 12.30. Can't wait, baby. I miss you so much. Me too, babe. How is Malcolm J? Oh, he's fine. He misses his mom as well. Please, can I say hello? Oh, he's asleep. He's in his room, sleeping. Okay, tell him I call and I'll see him later. 
All right, babe. I love you. I'll let him know you call. Okay? Um, your friend is out of town. What, she didn't tell you? Oh, no, um, she did. I just wanted to check on you and Mal Jr. How nice of you. Thank you very much. As a matter of fact, I just put him to sleep. Um, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah. Uh, um, do, do you offer me a seat? Please, forgive my hands, please. Okay. Come right in. Uh, please. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by, too. To check on us. So, have you had anything to eat? Oh, yes, I have. Thanks for asking. I, I have had something to eat. Okay, um. <laughs> what? Come on. Wouldn't you like to find out how he feels to fuck your fiance's best friend? <laughs> Don't do this. Uh, don't, Why? don't do this. Why? Because you're Sydney's best friend. And I don't think that I want to cheat on her. Hold on a second. Hey. You want me to fuck you? Huh? Yes, please. What the hell is happening here? Hey. Uh, what's happening? Sit. 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 Ah. Welcome. Sit. 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 Step out of the car. Right. Sit. Come on. Now. Sit. Step out of the car. Let's talk. All right. Let. Let. You know what? Let's talk. Okay. okay. I understand that you're upset, but we have to talk. What's okay. happening? Silly! Ma, Ma, what's happening? What's what's happening? What? what did I do? Why did you not tell me that both of you were coming back today? Why? Wait, wait, she said she wanted to surprise you. She wanted to surprise? <laughs> yeah, what, what's, what's happening? Well, now she's succeeded in surprise. You know what? Make sure she's fine. What? You hear me? Make sure ah. she's fine. Okay, wait, wait, wait till they have. Wait, wait, Ma! Ah. Sid! Sid, come on, talk to me. Sid, Sid! Sid!
<laughs> Charles. Charles, wake up, please. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Charles. <laughs> you killed him. No, baby. You, no. you killed him. It was an accident, baby. No, 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 no. You, you killed him. No, Sydney. <laughs> Get a grip of yourself. I didn't kill him. Dad. Dad. Mom, you killed him. No. You killed him. You are a liar. You killed him. Every insult, every beating, every insult I took from this man was because of you. I will beat you into stupor if I let you insult me. Now go in there, pack your things, and let's get the hell out of this place. Now! <laughs> Just, I'm sorry. Wake up. Hello. Sydney, where are you now? It doesn't matter. Wow. Malcolm asked me to make sure you're fine. Why does he care? Okay, you know what? Please just calm down, okay? Just calm down. You need to relax. I walked... I walked in on Anna and Malcolm in my bedroom. <laughs> they missed me in my, in my bedroom. <laughs> Oh, she, she's staying at her mom's. Don't tell me you were missing me. Mommy, I came to. I just want you to tell me what happened that night. I really need to know. Why now, Sydney Coca? Why? Maybe I was too young then. But now I'm ready for it. I just want to know, was it really an accident? Mom, please tell me the truth. Yeah, I hated you for years, thinking you killed him just to get away from him. I hated your father because of the way he treated me. But I wouldn't have killed him intentionally. You know why? Because he was the father of my only child. Didi, you suffered in his hand. And I, I was too young to see it. The day he threw your things out, I was standing by the window. I saw everything. And you refused to go because of me. Everything to you, but you stayed because of me. Because you knew I loved him. 
And you think I deserve better than Malcolm? How? I deserve worse. Don't blame yourself. I mean, you were just a little girl that loved her father. Sweet. But please. Tell her my life, please. We all know how he is. You're still young. Yeah, Malcolm was seen in the video entering the hotel, but we are not sure if it has something to do with Taffeta's mother. So we are very close to nailing him. Just give me a little more time. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, sir. Next time you come up with a crazy plan like this, you're doing it yourself. Hey. Good morning. You slept well? Where's Malcolm Jr.? Oh, in his room, watching TV. Uh, he stepped out. All right, thank you. set out to cheat on you. She seduced me. I, I don't know what I was thinking, falling for it, but it has happened and I am hoping that you find it in your heart to give me a chance to make it up to you. Forgive me. Gods to go for sleep with my friend? You're fucking my friends now? You have no regard for me, none for this marriage! I'm sorry. Alright, I'm really sorry. I've been apologizing to you. I'm sorry. So you just apologize and I just I just fall at your feet and say yes! Well, what else do you want me to do? Kill yourself. I've been apologizing to you! 
I said, I'm sorry. I am sorry. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am freaking sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm apologizing to you. I'm sorry. No, no, okay. no, no, no. Okay. No, but I'm sorry. No, 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 you don't have to raise your voice at hand. Tell him. Come on. Come on. Go ahead and beat me. What, you want me to hit you? Come on, public. No, you want me to Tell hit you? Tell them how you do it. Go see. Just but do you want, calm down. Do you want me to hit you? Just go ahead. Do you want me to hit you? Go ahead. Okay, that's a gun. Okay, see, you need to talk. That's a gun. That's a gun, Seed. That's a gun. You scared? It's loaded. Uh, yeah. I know. See, no, that, I that know. is not. Just, just put it out. Oh, you're very good at hitting women. Just, just be careful, okay? He's a man like you. Go no. ahead and hit me. Just, just, just put it out. Put it out. Sorry to disturb you, sir, but there's a lady here to see you. What's her name? Sydney Coca, sir. Send her head. Alright, sir. What a pleasing surprise. All the information you need, they're on that flash drive. Sorry, Sid, you came a little too late. Someone smart have beat you to it. What do you mean by that? You're smart. Figure it out yourself. Tony, I'm... Sydney, I suppose you've met Agent Part. Hi, Sydney. This is the someone smarter? Sydney. I'm sorry if I hurt you in any way. I was just doing my job. I'm sorry. What's bothering you? Honestly, the way you care about me these days creeps me out. <laughs> Why? Because you're unfamiliar with kindness? Stop saying that. I am very familiar with kindness. Yeah. It's just that you hardly talk to me, so I just assume that you don't like me. You're strong. You're smart, you're kind, you... Above all, you're very beautiful, so tell me, Sid, what's there not like? Do you think you can ever like you know, forgive him? I don't know, but my mom thinks I deserve better. I don't know, maybe, maybe she's right. I... I'll just go upstairs before Malcolm gets back. Yeah. Good night.
Hey, hey. Hey. Yes, I want to take Malcolm J to the mall. You want anything? No, I'm fine. Hmm. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I'll uh, see you guys later. Okay. I'll come to your mother's place. I need to go. Those guys are after me. The ECC are after you. And you're going without us? What is wrong with you now? You acquire businesses and properties in my name. What do you think will happen to me if they don't find you? Listen, just do as I'm alright? Just lie down, okay? Lie down. the fuck no! Alright? Lie down. I'll call you, alright? I'll be first. I'll, I'll call you. You're gonna leave my call you. Oh, I'm in trouble. Mr. Malcolm, you are under arrest. Hands behind your head. Cuff him. Mm. Unless you stick to my lawyer. Definitely you will. Wait. You did this to me, huh? Babe. Call the general, alright? Make sure you call the general, okay? C call him, just tell him what. C call him, T -t -t tell him that. This is it. Move it! Bobby bought me lots of chocolate and I ate them all. <gasps> Only you? All the chocolates? Ah, you're going to grow so fat. And your tummy is going to poof like a bomb. <laughs> Alright, so you go to your room, I'll join you soon, okay? Hey. Why are you crying? Did John Mao get in another fight? <laughs> he was arrested by the ECC. They picked him up a few minutes ago. Oh my god. I should have caught a deal when I had the chance to. I don't know. They, they, they would see me as an accomplice. You know? They're going to come back for me. They're going to mm. jail me. Oh, okay. You, you, you must calm down. Look at me. Look at me. Oh god. Sid. Sid. Calm. Down. You are not an accomplice. You don't know anything about all these dealings. And you are not going 
to jail. But you don't know that. How do you know that? I got a deal for you. Hmm? Yeah. You never keep to time, do you? Getting an evidence is that easy. Why didn't you get it yourself? Okay, you win. Okay. So the deal. If you get everything you're looking for, Malcolm Dre, on this drive, the property, everything he bought in Sydney's name remains house. That's the deal, right? Yeah. Good. But why are you doing this? It's none of your business. We're done. He was with you the whole time? I thought it was Anna. Wait. How did you know I was talking to the ECC? I overheard your conversation with your mom the other day she came here. You see, Mal is my cousin. But like your mom said, it's a lost cause beyond salvation. Yeah. And see, this is another chance for you to start over afresh, you know, from the beginning. And I believe that you are wise and sensible and you are going to choose the right person. I honestly don't know what to say. Wow. Sydney Coca, you are definitely unfamiliar with kindness. <laughs> What's your motive, Bobby? Do I need one? Love? I don't think I've done anything to encourage the fact that I love you, Harry. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> 